Oh, let's go. All right, guys, come on in, man. It's Monday morning. It's our first Monday back, guys. Oh, my gosh, for the month of June. And I'm just excited, man. I just believe that God is speaking so clearly right now. And I believe the reason he is speaking so clearly is because he is truly trying to wake us up to what he is trying to accomplish in our lives. So I want you guys to come on in. Let's get ourselves comfortable for about five to ten minutes as I share with you guys what God is confirming, I believe, around the world, what he's trying to do with the body of Christ as we are being moved into a new place as a people. All right. We just finished up one of the most amazing conferences ever. I'll be giving you guys the details going into the next year, but we just did our first TOU Live 2019, and it was the most incredible experience I've ever had because we brought together people in the room who truly were after one thing, and that was to become a better person in Christ. There was no other agenda. We chased God together. We went after God together, and if you guys are interested, we'll be making the sessions that we did at TOU Live available for sale so you guys can be able to experience it. We'll drop the link so you guys can buy that. But all in all, I want you guys to be at TLU Live 2020 so that your life can be transformed and turned around. And as well, if you are not a TOU member, the one university, then you are missing out on one of the best and most amazing, life-changing, transforming communities if for a single person or a dating person that you can have. Our goal is to help you to get married, but to do it in a way that is not like the world. We and I are just trying to set you up. We're trying to prepare you. All right, that's what we do in TLU. We prepare you for one of the greatest and most amazing decisions you'll make in your life. All right, everybody, so y'all are in now. Let's talk about what is God saying for the month of June. All right. The month of May, let's do a recap, was a very intense month. I believe that many of us in the month of May went through a time of intense testing. All right. Intense testing to our yes. I believe God challenged our why. He revealed to us and he brought things into our lives to truly begin to cause us to think about why am I doing this? Why am I in this? Why do I love him? Why will I lay my life down for him? I believe he brought many of you into a level of testing and many of you are going through testing right now from the month of May. Things that you learned about yourself, things that you learned about who who you are, what you've done, what you're going to do, what you have to do, what is going to be required of you. That was the month of May. God had to solidify your yes, okay? God had to redeem and restore and, and secure secure that you are not going to go anywhere when things get hard, when things get challenging, and you are going to stay your tail put, and you will not be moved, you will not be shaken, and you will not be sifted by the enemy. That was the month of May, but let's call, talk about the month of June, all right? The month of June, man, God has been confirming because he began to speak to me about me letting go and trimming off the fat. And that was what I began to hear. And I just began to see literally in the spirit things that were heavy on my life. And I began to search the scriptures and I found this passage of scripture. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight that so easily besets us so that we may be able to run the race that is before us and be able to run it with patience and endurance. I'm telling you this month, hear me when I say it, and my spiritual father, Dr. Matthew L. Stevenson, prophesied yesterday at church that God is moving us into a season of alignment. But I'm telling you that as, as you are in this place of alignment and God is aligning you, you've got to trim off the fat. There are some things that got to get out of your life, the things that you have been holding on to, the stuff that you've been whole thinking that even for dreams and stuff that is theoretical, imaginations, dreams, identities that you've been holding on to, the Bible literally calls these parasitic sins. Can y'all put that in the, in the chat room? Parasitic sins. Parasitic sins are things that attach themselves to you and drain the life out of you. It's a parasitic sin. This is not just your regular momentary, I fell, I had a bad issue, I had a bad moment. Parasitic sins are things that are habitual, things that are, that are addictive, things 
things that are literally you've been carrying for a very long time. God is after the heaviness in your life because he is ready to align you so that you can be accelerated. Parasitic sins. This is the season for you to begin to dig deep into your past. This is the time for you to begin to really evaluate your relationships. These are the times for you to begin to evaluate your friendships. Let's talk about that. Parasitic sins. Are there people in your life that are draining the life out of you? This can come all the way down to your friends and even your family. Listen to me. A lot of times we are very gracious to our family, but you can be gracious, ladies and gentlemen. You can be loving, but you ain't got to be close. Hear me. If you know you have people in your life who are parasitic that drain the life out of you, you need to you need to create boundaries, okay? You need to learn how to protect what God is doing in your life and be the number one protector of it. You've got to be very careful about who you allow to be close to you. Judas was in the 12, but he was not in the three. You know that you cannot protect yourself from everybody, but you've got to have a level of protection for those who have access to the most secretive and most, and most important and vital parts of who you are. Be very careful about the things that you are sharing with everybody. Be very careful about the things that you are sharing with your friends and your family because you better believe you are in a season of your life where God is revealing fresh things to you, new things to you, new understandings, new revelations, new insights, and you've got to be a one that is protective of the things on your life. you got to protect it, man. I love it. Yeah, Zach just said it. Protect your peace at all costs. So you've got to come into a place now where God is dealing with the parasitic sins that are attached to you. He's going to begin to deal with the heavy weight, even anxiety, this depression, this mental health. He's coming after it. Many of you are in a season right now where you just need to get somebody professional to talk to. You've got to be very careful that you are relying on people who will not have professional by unbiased um, um, insight into your journey. Many of you are in a place right now where you need to begin to really reach out and begin to get professional understanding, professional wisdom, professional counsel about your future. I mean, about what's happened in your past. So you can come to a place of resolve. What do you need to let go of in this season so that you can move faster? What are you, what is slowing you down? What is holding you back? What is weighing you down? Take some time in this month to get in alignment with God's spirit so that you can be accelerated. When you begin to move into a place where you begin to let go and cut out and get that mess out of your life, God now has the ability to accelerate you and begin to move you faster into the new season that he has you. I know in your, in the month of May, God tested your yes, but guess what he's doing in the month of June? He's testing your no. How many times can you say no? How many times can you protect yourself and cut somebody off and say, no, I'm sorry, you can't be in my life. No, I'm sorry, you are not the standard of what I'm willing to lay my life down for, i.e. relationships, i.e e dating, i.e. married. No, I'm sorry. I can't be spending that much time with you. No, I'm sorry. I cannot go in the car with you alone. I can't handle that. No, I'm sorry. I, my, my, my spirit cannot truly be around you for that long period of time because I just feel way down. When is the last time you said no? In the month of May, God tested your yes, but in the month of no, God is, I mean, in the month of June, God is testing your no. You need to learn how to be able to have boundaries around who God is preparing you to become and who God is intentionally trying to develop you into. You need to have boundaries around your time. You need to have boundaries around your priorities. If everything is a priority, then nothing is a priority. The word priority literally means for you to single out one thing. So you need to begin to really listen to your heart and listen to the spirit of God in the regard to what is priority in your life. You are trying to make time for everything. And because of that, you are causing yourself to literally get into a season of burnout, right? And so you need to learn how to say no in this time of your life. So this is where God is moving us into is he's dealing with the heavy things that are weighing us down. He's calling us to evaluate. He's causing us to assess in this season, in the month of June, you need to do a DTR. This is, I know a lot of people don't want to hear this. I know y'all want to hear, you know, that he's bringing you up the mountain. I know you want to hear that he's bringing you 75 new relationships. I know you want to hear that he's coming and she's on the way. I know you want to hear all the, the, the good stuff. But let me tell you, the reason why God brings us through times of 
refreshing like this is because he's got something better on the other side. OK, he's got something better on the other side. So in this month, he's really dealing with you. But you need to do a DTR. Do you know what DTR is? All right. Define the relationship. OK, that's what needs to happen in the month of June. We are halfway through 2019. All right. So in the month of June, you need to be doing a DTR with the people in your life. DTR means define the relationship. What am I to you and what are you to me? All right. This is a good time to do this. This will help you to really know who are the people that need to go with you into this next season and who are the people you need to cut it. Y'all remember that song? You need to cut it. Uh, 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 uh. You need to cut it. Uh, 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 uh. You need to cut it. All right. I know a lot of y'all have a lot of trauma regarding letting people go because you have gone through a season of not having anybody. So you're like, how can I let people go when I haven't had anybody in previous seasons and I'm nervous to be alone? Let God do that for you. OK, let God handle that. But you have the responsibility to cut folks out. That's not supposed to be there. All right. So in the month of June, I'm causing I'm challenging you all to do define the relationship. What is God after? Come on, let's go ahead and close this time out together, because I feel like this is a very powerful pastoral moment. What is God after in your life? Why is he causing you to cut things out? Why is he causing you to say no? It's because he is after acceleration. You're going too slow. Okay, you're going too slow. He's got something ahead of you that he wants you to get to. And the only way to get you there is to get stuff off of you that's slowing you down. He is after acceleration. So he's bringing alignment. Everything in your life that's not working properly. Everything in your life that's not functioning properly. All right. He is going. He's coming after all of that stuff. Everything in your life that's not functioning, that's not working. When your car. All right. Got red. When you, when, listen, y'all, it is negligent. It is negligent when your car light on oil change needed uh, back right tire deflated. Um, um, you got your other check engine light on and y'all not going to stop. Y'all just keep driving. You keep going and you keep moving. Stop it. That is negligent. That is irresponsible. When you see your check engine light on and you see your change oil light on and you see all this stuff flashing and you don't want to stop. And then whenever something go down, when something break down, you'd be like, "Ooh, if I would have just went sooner, if I would have just stopped sooner, I would not have had a breakdown. God is trying to protect you from a breakdown. God is trying to protect you from a breakdown. All right. So stop. And check yourself. OK, check yourself. Ask your close friends. Hey. Please, this is the month I'm taking some time to do some self evaluation. I need some quality conversation about what is happening right now in my life. I need you to help me to see things that I don't see. Hashtag blind spots. To think you ain't got no blind spots, use a liar. To think that you perfect and you ain't got no issues, no problems, no jacked upness, use a liar. To think that you ain't got no fall, no fail points, no uh, weaknesses, no, no jack up moments, no open doors to flesh opportunities, use a liar. Hashtag blind spots. We all got blind spots. And the only people that can see our blind spots is who? Our people that are close to us. OK, so this is the month that God is coming after that stuff. So your friends going to get DTRs this month. All right. They gonna get DTRs this month. Number one, DTRs, define the relationship. OK, you're going to define the relationships. All right. Number two, you are going to check yourself. All right. You're going to check yourself and see, hey, what's going on in me? What's what's flashing? What lights are going off? What am I feeling? What am I going through? What's happening? What am I sensing? All right. You're going to check yourself. All right. You're going to check yourself. And number three, you're going to cut it, cut anything that needs to be cut, that needs to be weighed off. Yeah, I'm just that right. I don't have time for that. I just can't get myself fully to that. I'm about to go ahead. I'm sorry. It's just it's not the time for this right now. I'm, I apologize. You can't go. You can't go. You can't go. Who you cutting off to bring alignment for acceleration? All right. To bring alignment for acceleration. All right. This is a whole this is a word. All right. Y'all better uh, screen record this and send y'all send this to your friends and let them listen to it before y'all sit down with them. All right. And if you know, 
you don't know how to do this stuff well, it's just a part of the journey. All right. I don't know how to define the relationships. I don't know how to have hard conversations. I don't know how because you ain't never done it. All right. You ain't never done. It. It's the same thing when you take your car into the shop. You'd be like, are they going to lie to me? Are they going to tell me my car got all these things wrong with it? You got to learn. All right. You got to learn your car. <laughs> you got to learn what's really wrong with it. And so nobody else can tell you. You know what I'm saying? Like when you go into the car shop, a lot of folks be scared. They be like, I don't want them trying to use me. I don't want them taking advantage of me or what I don't know. You got to learn. All right. You need to learn. You need to learn. So you got to have hard conversations and learn how to have them. It's a process in life that many of us avoid, but it's necessary. Hey, guys, this is a beautiful month. I'm going to be walking with you guys through this month. And I didn't get no time on the financials because I believe a lot of y'all hear me when I say this. I talked about a lot about relationships. A lot of y'all got jacked up relationships with money. All right. God's coming after that stuff, too. A lot of y'all spending frivolously. A lot of y'all not investing into the right areas of your life. A lot of you just spending on stuff that has no return. A lot of you spending a lot of money on stuff that is just truly just a wasteful spend. All right. God is coming after all that stuff. A lot of y'all not being good stewards. You're not budgeting. You're not taking time to have money management plans. You're not setting out financial goals. You're not dreaming with God regarding what he wants to do with your money. Y'all, come on now. God is after all this stuff, man. He is speaking. He is coming after everything that's not functioning in your life all right so y'all better get this stuff right this month we're gonna talk about it y'all hang out with me this month save them single we're gonna be in this group we're gonna be hitting all this stuff hey i want to encourage you we're probably gonna be doing a special enrollment for the one university so stay tuned for that so you guys can get in tou and begin to go through a season of truly learning how to uh move forward in these areas of your life all right this is all all the stuff i'm talking about we teach in tou all right this month, in the month of this month, we're doing wise and wealthy. That's our theme this month in the one university, wise and wealthy. So you definitely want to check us out if once we open the doors to TOU and get you guys coming in. I love you guys so much. Y'all have a great Monday. I'll talk to you later. Peace.